In this video we will learn about navigating the visual controls interface. We will examine Using the ribbon Navigating the project manager Selecting products with the product manager Editing design elements with properties Using display manager to analyze a design Auditing a design and navigating the design window with views, object snap, and filters. At the top of the program is the ribbon. The ribbon consists of tabs similar to menus and provides access to the primary commands in visual controls. The home tab will have commonly used commands from other tabs. The Design tab includes commands to add the key elements in a design, like rooms, zones, and wiring connections. The Draw tab includes the construction commands for adding reference elements and text to your design. The Modify tab includes commands to help you quickly update and change the elements in the design, like moving, rotating, or erasing objects. The View tab controls the visibility of information in your design, like beam patterns and product labels. On the left side panel, there are tabs that provide access to the Project Manager and the Product Manager. The Project Manager provides navigation of the primary windows in your project. Click an item from the list to view the product schedule, sequence of operations table, current designs, print pages, and risers. Under each design, there are groups for controls, luminaires, rooms, and zones. You can expand a group and select individual items. The object will be highlighted in the design window, and you can edit related properties. You can select all instances in a group by selecting the group header. Using the new command, you can add additional designs to your project. Within your project you may have several designs. By default, the design window will be active when you open a project. You can rename a design by double-clicking the name of the design and typing in a new name. You can copy a design by clicking the design and then selecting Copy from the toolbar. When a design is copied, everything except cross-design connections are copied. You can also add additional print pages or copy existing print pages. The schedule allows you to manage the products added from the product manager. You can edit and customize each product. Select a symbol graphic to modify the symbol appearance. You can edit the text in most columns to customize the schedule output. You can add and update a list of product favorites. The schedule will track the wire type and lengths used in the design. Schedules can also be exported to Excel for further customization. Select the SOO table to view the Sequence of Operations table for the project. The Sequence of Operations table defines the control schedule for each room based on included devices. You can manually create the Sequence of Operations table or have visual controls automatically generated from the devices in each room. You can use the print pages to create comprehensive output to communicate your design intent to your customer. Design print pages are generated automatically for each design. You can customize the pages by adding detailed product information. Visual controls can also automatically generate the pages for the riser diagrams. Under the Products tab, the Product Manager is where you can add products to use in the design. 
You can add products directly to your design by searching above. Or launching the product selection window to view products organized by brand and category type. The product manager lists devices currently in your design and displays an active count. You can add custom luminaires from the luminaires section of the product manager. Visual controls will provide a list of recommended products that can be found in the favorites section. You can also customize this list yourself. During most commands, the properties window will be active, allowing you to edit parameters before placing objects. You can make changes later by selecting an object to display the properties. Selecting multiple objects will limit the properties to only shared parameters. The properties window will activate automatically when selecting objects and starting commands. The display manager provides different views of your project to support the analysis of the design. Some of the key views include the layer view, which organizes the objects based on product type and includes any imported layers from a CAD file. The SOO assignment view displays a color-coded sequence of operations assignment for each room. And the product category view that displays products of the same type and the same color. Visual Controls performs an audit to help reduce errors in your design. The audit runs on your entire design. Clicking an audit warning will zoom to the object related to the error. You can manually run an audit by clicking the refresh button. The toolbar in the design window contains quick tools that will assist you in interacting with your design. On the left side are zoom commands, such as pan and zoom all. In the center of the toolbar are object snap commands used for finding specific reference points. And on the right side of the toolbar are selection filters, which limit the object's types you can select for modification. For example, deselecting the product selection filter will prevent you from selecting luminaires and controls, generating a message below when trying to select the objects. You can use your mouse to navigate the design window. Click and hold the middle mouse wheel to pan the design. With visual controls, you can quickly interact with objects. To move objects in the design, just left-click to select an object and drag to the new location by holding your left mouse button and moving the mouse. You can also pre-select objects before starting a command. For example, select a group of objects before starting the copy command. This will allow you to skip this step in the process. The topics in this video and more will be covered in detail in additional videos. This concludes this instructional video. Please send any questions or comments to the Visual Support Center at support at visual-3d.com.